Hey guys, Evan1994 here, and today we're playing some Domination on Rundown, and yeah, Mono for 2, blah blah blah, um, anyway. <laughs> so, I'm not going to be talking about the gameplay at all, um, I'm going to be talking about something that's been crossing my mind quite a bit lately, Modern Warfare 3. I don't even know if it's going to be titled that or not, but anyway, uh, I got a big list of my wish list, and uh, these are just things that I would like to see in Modern Warfare 3. Uh, either new ideas or new things coming back or I don't know, just a bunch of things that I want. So I should get started before uh, I just start rambling. Um, so the first thing is stackable kill streaks. Now obviously this was taken out in Black Ops and I think that really uh, ruined the, the whole pace of the gameplay. Uh, Black Ops seems like a much more slower paced gameplay or game than uh, Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty 4, um, even, I don't know, maybe it's a Treyarch thing, because World at War was kind of boring, you know, the, the artillery took like 30 seconds to finally call in, and there was no like helicopter flying around because it was World War II, um, but <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, I think that stacking kill streaks really, uh, you know, makes, makes the gameplay faster, um, and, then that, and then the next thing, <clears throat> Sorry, uh, is tone down the kill streaks a little bit. Uh, you know, like it's supposed to be a reward. Uh, when you get a nine kill streak, you're not supposed to get 30 kills with that streak. You know, it's kind of ridiculously stupid. Uh, either make them less power, or make them last like not as long. I don't know. Just do something. Uh, and then the next thing is one shot kill snipers um, I don't like hit markers nobody likes hit markers it's a sniper when you shoot someone in the chest or above it should be a kill you know in real life it would be a kill you'd freaking like you wouldn't get three hit markers with a bear 50 cal you'd go flying and your arm would get ripped off and there would be blood everywhere <laughs> jeez get it right infinity ward um, but yeah of course that's for balancing issues, but then you can bring back a perk that gives you more health. <clears throat> Juggernaut. <laughs> uh, geez, I shouldn't have said that, um, but yeah. Um, but with one-shot kill snipers, uh, you know, there's gonna be all these quick scopers going insane. That's why you have no sleight of hand on snipers. Just like Call of Duty 4, you know. Um, Call of Duty 4 sniping system was amazing, and the M43. M <laughs> M40A3 was amazing. I definitely think they should bring that back because apparently it's going to be like a COD Force uh, prequel. Uh, so it happened before Call of Duty 4, so I don't see why they wouldn't bring the M40A3 back. That would be awesome. Um, so the next thing is, of course, oh, well, yeah, this just ties in with uh, snipers, but um, don't nurse the snipers, you know. Nerf noob tubes, not sniping, Jesus. That stupid uh, random sway thing when you zoom in, that's the stupidest thing ever, you know? Um, hopefully whoever's making Modern Warfare 3 or the next Call of Duty game doesn't do that. Uh, that was a dumb move, I think. Um, and then the next thing is a perk idea that I had. So it would basically be like engineer class or something, I don't know what it would be called. Uh, basically objective whore. <laughs> that would be my title for it. Um, so, what it would do is, say, capture the flag. Um, you know, when you're playing capture the flag, um, and someone has the flag and they're running, uh, it, like, slowly updates, like, in Sabotage, it updates where the flag is, or in Sabotage, where the bomb is. I think that, that updating, like, where it shows the position of the flag, I think that would, like, be a longer wait the updates I don't know if you guys know what I mean but anyway um and then you would get more points for capturing that flag same with domination you know get more points for planting a bomb and you know like cap a flag faster uh, it would be totally uh, an objective oriented perk um, you know what I'm saying probably uh, just just so that you get people away from uh, going for super giant high scores and playing more of the objective. Um, that would be great, I think. Because, uh, like, 
you know, I've played a few game battles games. It's really fun, and everybody just, of course, you play the objective because you try to win. Uh, but online, it's never like that. Uh, and by the way, I suck at game battles, so, yeah. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, so some perks that I want to bring back is uh, Juggernaut's stopping power, just so that you get that balancing factor, you know? Um, in Modern Warfare 2, they took out Juggernaut, but they still had stopping power, so it kind of unbalanced things uh, quite a bit. Um, so yeah, and in Black Ops, of course, we all know that they took out stopping power, and that results in everybody using Ghost, and then everybody complains, and that's really annoying, and I don't complain, but oh well. Uh, and then take out Scavenger, I think, because it's kind of stupid when you pick up ammo from dead bodies uh, that have different guns than you. You know, everybody doesn't carry around a pack of ammo that has every single type of bullet in it. You know, that's just kind of dumb. Uh, I think they should bring back Bandolier. That would replace it. You know, just start off with extra ammo. But I don't know what Bandolier Pro would be, uh, but I don't know. And another perk that I would like to see come back is Overkill. And now if you haven't played Call of Duty 4 or World at War, you wouldn't know what this is. Uh, it's basically you get two primary guns, so basically you could have, say, an M16 and a sniper at the same time. Uh, but of course you wouldn't get stopping power because they are in the same perk slot. Um, so yeah. Um, take out Last Stand, Death Streaks, Woman Army, Danger Close Pro, uh, Commando, you know, all those. We all want those gone, but anyway. Uh, equipment. I think that equipment should be the first perk, like it used to be in COD 4 and World at War. Uh, it's kind of stupid that you can get, um, like, I don't know, it's just another balancing thing, I think. Uh, you know, it shouldn't be, um, pressed up. You know, you shouldn't be able to have, like, say, Claymore and a grenade launcher at the same time. They should, it should be either one or another. And on the same topic of that, I think that they should make uh, the grenade launcher take up your first perk. Um, just the way it used to be, you know? Like, you guys, <laughs> it, it would have been a perfect fix if they just would have done that in Modern Warfare 2. Like, there would have been no... Absolutely no one-man army noob tubing. There would have been no scavenger noob tubing. It just would have been fixed. It would have been that easy, you know? I don't know why they didn't do that, but oh well. Um, what else? I think they should bring back old guns. I'm kind of sad that they just don't bring back old guns, really. Like, they do some guns, like the RPD, you know, some guns, like the P90, Mini Uzi, and stuff like that. But I, I like Battlefield. Look at Battlefield Bad Company 2. Uh, most of the guns are in Battlefield Bad Company 1. Uh, I just like that, you know? You get used to a gun, um, and you just, you just get used to it, you know? And that's you get attached to guns, I think. Uh, but in addition to that, I think that they should definitely add new guns in addition to the old guns. Um, oh, jeez, I don't have much time, so I'm just going to kind of not go into depth with these. Uh, Modern Warfare 2 recoil? I don't know why I wrote that down. Um, maybe some guns with not very much recoil. Uh, no COD... COD... What am I saying? <laughs> no COD points. Uh, I just want to level up my guns, you know? I don't want to, like, be able to unlock an AK and have every attachment right away when I start and buy, be able to buy every single camo. I want the challenges. I want that challenge factor come into effect. You know, it's kind of stupid that you can just buy everything uh, without even earning it. Um, and then the next thing, keep wager matches in theater mode. I'm sure they'll keep theater mode, like definitely. Uh, but I don't know how wager matches would work. Maybe you just get XP, but I don't know. Uh, the next thing I wrote down was Modern Warfare 2 hit detection. Uh, I love the hit detection in that game. Black Ops seems like it's kind of off. Uh, next thing, less knife range, you know, tone it down, Call of Duty 4, World at War, you know, that kind of style of knifing. World at War is actually brutal. Um, maybe not World at War knifing. Uh, dedicated servers, that'll never happen though. Uh, no big maps, you know, Call of Duty 4 style maps. No, no array, no... Derail, you know, no stupid big maps. 
And I had more things that I wanted to talk about, but that's it. So that's about it. Um, thank you for watching. Peace! Hey guys, Evan1994 here, and I'm playing some Domination on Rundown. <laughs> You're probably like, oh my god, why are you playing Domination on Rundown? Why are you playing Modern Warfare 2? You're stupid. <laughs> um, anyway. <laughs> oh, jeez, that was bad.